These highlights of the District 12 Late Tournament Championship game brought to you on Mid-Jersey Sports by Cephalone for Freeholder. Vote November 5th, Ron Cephalone for Mercer County Freeholder. Bordentown and Robbinsville playing each other for the fourth time in less than a month, but tonight for a trophy. Bottom of the first, Luke Franzoni on a third for the Mac. Tuffy, he maxed that to the gap in left center. It scores Franzoni, one nothing Arville in this championship finale. Jack Gilmer up, swings and hits this the opposite way. Over the roof and out of here. A two-run shot for Gilmer and a three-run lead for the blue and gold. The black and gold put together some stout defense at times. Hank Franz with a nice grab, steps on the bag. They would not quite make it a twofer, but they got out of the first without further damage. Tuffy on the hill for Arville had some outstanding Ooh, defense of his own. Very alert right there. Helps to make the put out. Bottom three, Robbinsville threatening to add to their lead. Bases loaded. Gilmer back up. Lifts this one to right. Bordentown's Bobby Fell gets under it. Makes the catch. Tagging, though, Connor Kisley. Fell with a great throw home to catcher Jack Parker, but not quite in time. Tyler Lehman looking to contribute offensively. Lines this to shallow center. Franzoni will score no problem. Tuffy comes in right behind him, a 6-0 lead for the Mercer County crew. Later, Chris Conti swings and absolutely crushes this. Forget it, it's gone. It almost cleared two fences. A monster shot. You tell me, was it farther than Jake Muller's homer the other night against Tom's River American East? Both were major homers. I said that that one had enough on it to go to Seagirt. Well, Conti pretty much hit his to Princeton, not to mention upping the lead to 8-0. Tuffy in this, his final Little League game on fire. 12 strikeouts, only allowed three hits. Bottom five, Nick Zangrilli on for the other 11. Justin Romano, that's through to center for a base hit. In fact, it'll be extra bases. Zangrilli scores, 9-0 Arville. Romano would later steal third, and then Tuffy back up. Hits that to left. That's the season, folks. Robbinsville, Mercy rules Bordentown in the fifth to take this late tournament title game, 10-0. Tuffy, by the way, mobbed by teammates after singling in the winning run. He really got the job done on this night. Afterwards, awards for both sides. Bordentown had an excellent summer, played Arville close in their other games. Ryan Katzbach and teammates in a true sign of good sportsmanship, giving props to B-Town. Katzbach, of course, had to sit out these final few games with a head injury, but pals with a number of the Bordentown kids. Once Arville got their trophy, they did some photo ops and talked with us. Once I was just looking for a base hit, and I wasn't looking for anything else, but we were... I got a little help from the dugout and my teammates with a little motivation, and then it just... I didn't expect it to go, but it did. Going out there, you were pretty confident all through? Yeah, I was confident because I knew how the batters were and how to pitch them all throughout the game. What do you take from this whole summer? Uh, just the enjoyment of playing with these 14 kids, and it was just a blast. We kind of got knocked down in districts, but coming back to this coming back to this tournament really helped us get back into the groove and have fun. We knew this what, uh, the end of districts wasn't the end of our Little League careers, and we knew that we could still go out and play some more baseball. It's just a good feeling once you win. You can just get it all. We finally started to hit the ball, all of us. We kept getting better and better after each game, and Bordentown's a good team. We had confidence that we'd go into the game and put up a good fight, and we tried our best, and it didn't work out in the end. It was definitely fun. I mean, playing more baseball is pretty much what, what's more fun of it. It felt um, good to be back in the team and start playing baseball because I got really bored just standing there in my cast. It's always nice to win and uh, I guess we enjoyed this experience of playing loose and uh, not it's not as tense as district, states. It was a good experience. I can't wait for next year. You guys plan to play Babe Ruth next year? Uh, yeah, a lot of it. Next summer, you guys want to keep this going as baseball players, huh? Yes, definitely. We want to keep this going. Ryan, you're looking forward to next summer in Babe Ruth, too? Oh, yeah, it's going to be a blast. We are Robinson!